Studio One's Auto Punch feature. If you ever have a situation where you've recorded a vocal or say a bass part and there's just one section that is not quite right and you'd like to redo it without having to redo, redo the whole passage, you do have this uh, option available within Studio One. Now, in order to do this, we would set our loop locators to the specific area that we'd like to redo. Now we can hold Alt and click to set the right locator. We can hold Control to set the left locator. Now if you have Snap to Grid turned on, then these are going to snap to whatever you have set as your quantized value. If you'd like to set a more precise location, then you can press N to deactivate the Snap to Grid. And in this way, you can really set this to the exact position of where you'd like to re-record re that part. I'm going to press N to turn that snap back on, set that left locator there. Now our auto punch is here in the transport, so we can click once to activate, or we can press I on our QWERTY keyboard. Now I'll just press the asterisk to enter into record, or we can press the record button here in the transport. And it looks like nothing's happening initially, but once we reach this loop section, we enter into record. You can see my vocals being recorded there. And then we end our recording once we reach the right locator there. And that is auto punch.